क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन अ कॉर्ड ऑफ अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर सबटेंस एन एंगल ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एट द सेंटर फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द करस्पॉन्डिंग सेगमेंट ऑफ द सर्कल यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ पाई एस थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर एंड रूट थ्री एस वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट एरिया ऑफ दिस रीजन राइट इट मीन्स दैट एरिया ऑफ द सेक्टर माइनस एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल बट दिस ट्राइंगल इज नॉट द इक्वलेटल ट्राइंगल नॉट द राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर एस टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल फॉर दैट वी नीड टू डू सम कंस्ट्रक्शन लेट एस सी दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन हियर वी हैव ड्रॉन ओ एम परपेंडिकुलर टू ए बी इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस बोथ द ट्राइंगल्स दे आर कॉन्ग्रुवंट बाय आर एच एस ओके एज दे आर कॉन्ग्रुवंट दिस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंगल गॉट डिवाइडेड इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट सो दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ जस्ट ऑब्जर्व ट्राइंगल ओ एम ए वन एंगल इज सिक्सटी डिग्री वन एंगल इज नाइंटी डिग्री सो ऑब्वियसली दिस एंगल विल कम एज थर्टी डिग्री बाय एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्राइंगल राइट नाउ यू सी आई विल जस्ट show you the triangle here just look at this triangle the bigger version of that one i'll name it as o m a this angle is 60 degree this angle is 90 degree okay this is 60 try to understand so obviously this angle will come as 30 degree i know this side as 12 cm i want to know this o m and a m correct now om is the height of this triangle see om is the height and ab is the base but ab is double of am correct because these two parts are same so i will get am i will get om and ab is double of am so i'll get the whole base ab and height om then i'll be able to find out area of this triangle let us see how i am going to do it first i will write down sin 30 look at the triangle here sin 30 degree which is equal to you know the value of sin 30 is 1 by 2 and sin means what opposite side so opposite of 30 degree is this side om om divided by the hypotenuse oa which is 12 cm which is equal to 1 by so the value of om which is equal to 12 by 2 right so here i'll write down 12 by 2 therefore om which is equal to 6 cm now come to the another part i want to find out am so what i will do i will take sin 60 see here sin 60 degree is nothing but root 3 by 2 this value we know sin 60 see this is 60 degree this one is the opposite side so am by hypotenuse which is 12 cm which is equal to root 3 by 2 this 12 will go that side and now am which is equal to 12 into root 3 divided by 2 2 6 0 am which is equal to 6 root 3 cm and i said ab is double of am so ab which is equal to 2 times am correct so value of am will substitute here ab which is equal to 2 into 6 root 3 which comes as 12 root 3 cm we got the base we got the height so easily we can find out area of the triangle right so here but they have asked us area of the segment so here i'll write down area of the segment now area of segment it means that minor segment which is equal to area of sector minus area of triangle area of sector formula everyone knows theta by 360 into pi r square minus 1 upon 2 base into height we'll just substitute the values here here our theta is 120 degree for the sector it is 120 degree divided by 360 value of pi is 3.14 radius is given 
12 into 12 minus 1 upon 2. Base. Base is 12 root 3. Into they said height. So height of the triangle is 6. Correct. We will do the cancellation. 1010 zero, one zero got cancelled. 12 ones are 12 threes are. 3 ones are 3 fours are. Okay. Now this 2 ones are 2 six are. Now we will write down. 3.14 into 4 into 12. It is 48 minus 6 into 6, 36. Value of root 3 is 1.73. Already they have given us this value. Correct. Now here, the product of this, this one, the product of this one is 150.72 minus and the product of this one which is equal to 62.28. After doing the subtraction, we get the answer as 88.44 cm square. This way, we get the area of the minor segment. Okay, and that only they wanted to, wanted us to do. Question number 8. A horse is tied to a pig at one corner of a square shaped grass field of side 15 meter. By means of a 5 meter long rope. See the figure here. And then we need to find the area of that part of the field in which the horse can graze. Value of pi is given as 3.14. Now length of the rope is given as 5 meter. It means that this much area the horse can move. That means the horse can graze. Look at the red color area. So it is just a sector. We just need to find out area of the sector because in that sector area only the horse can graze. Okay. So here for this one corner of this square, this angle is 90 degree. Correct. So our theta becomes 90 degree. I will write down theta which is equal to 90 degree and radius which is equal to 5 meter. Okay. So here area of sector. Sector which is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. So theta we know which is 90 degree. So 90 by 360 into value of pi is 3.14. Radius is 5 into 5. So 90 are and 90 fours are. 2 twos are and here 1.57. So which is equal to 1.57 into this is 25 divided by 2 divided by 2 and finally we get the answer as 19.625 meter square it's supposed to be meter square this is the area for the horse to graze correct now come to the second part of the question in the second part what they are asking you the increase in the grazing area if the rope were 10 meter long instead of 5 meter. So when the rope was 5 meter, this was the area. Correct. Now, as the length of the rope will become 10 meter. So this sector is there. This much area is there, total area. But they are, they are asking you increase in the area. So this green color region is there, na? this region. This is the increase in the area. Correct. The meaning is what? Area of the bigger sector minus area of the smaller sector. We know the area of the smaller sector. First we will find out area of the bigger sector now. For bigger sector the radius is what? 10 meter. Okay. And theta is same. 90 degree. So directly I am going to write down area of bigger sector which is equal to once again theta by 360 into pi r square right so here theta is 90 degree divided by 360 value of pi is 3.14 and our radius is now 10 okay now we'll show the cancellation here 90 are 90 fours are here 4 here 2 twos are and 1.57 at this place 2 1s are and 2 
fives are okay so finally we get 1.57 into 50 here and then our answer comes as 78.5 meter square now we need to find out increase in the grazing area so here i'll write down increase in the grazing area here many children get confused okay they have asked you increase that means area of the bigger sector minus area of the smaller sector which was 19.625 so after doing the subtraction we get 58.875 meter square this is the increase in the area right Question number 9. A brooch is made with silver wire in the form of a circle with diameter 55 mm. The wire is also used in making 5 diameters which divide the circle into 10 equal sectors as shown in the figure. Find the total length of the silver wire required. Now 5 you see red color lines you see 5 diameters and the circumference. At this place they have used the silver wire. So I will write down length of the silver wire or we can say total length of wire which is equal to circumference that means 2 pi r and plus 5 times the diameter okay 5 times the diameter so 5 d I am writing there. So 2 value of pi is 22 by 7 radius is 35 millimeter plus 5 oh sorry radius is 35 by 2 remember this 5 times the diameter that means 5 times 35 so here we will do the cancellation 7 1 the 7 5 the 2 and 2 got cancelled 22 into 5 is 110 plus 5 into 35 which comes as 175 and finally our answer is 285 millimeter so the total length of the silver wire is 285 millimeter. Correct. Come to the second part of the question. They said the area of each sector of the brooch here. Now each sector we need to find out the angle of that sector. So this circle we have divided into 10 parts, 10 equal parts. So here theta which is equal to what? 360 divided by 10 parts. So 0, 0 cancel. Our theta comes as 36 degree. We know theta. We know the radius. Right now. So radius is what? 35 by your 2 millimeter. Millimeter. Now they have asked you area of each sector. So here I will write down. Therefore area of each sector which is equal to same formula theta by 360 into pi r square. We will just substitute the values here. Theta is 36 divided by 360. Value of pi is 22 by 7. Radius is 35 by 2 and 35 by 2. So here 7 1s are 7, 5s are 36 1s are 36, 10s are 5 1s are 5. 2's are 2's are this is 11 here ok now see here which is equal to 11 into 35 divided by 4 which comes as 385 by 4 millimeter square is the area of each sector correct question number 10 an umbrella has 8 ribs which are equally spaced see the figure Assuming umbrella to be a flat circle of radius 45 cm. Find the area between the two consecutive ribs of the umbrella. Now look at this one. The um, flat surface of the umbrella looks like this. And in this umbrella there are 8 ribs. That means circle got divided into 8 equal parts. Fine. So we will find out theta here. Theta which is equal to 360 
divided by 8 which comes as 45. So for one sector the angle is 45 degree and they have given us the radius. Radius which is equal to also 45 centimeter. Now we need to find out area between two consecutive ribs. That means area of one sector. Just look at this sector, red color sector. Okay. So here I will write down area of the sector. Area of sector which is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. Okay. We substitute the value here. Theta is 45 by 360 into value of pi is 22 by 7 into radius is 45. So 45 into 45. So here 5 9 5 are 45 9 4 are here 5 1 are 5 8 are then 2 1 are 2 1 are this is 4 are okay. Now here at the numerator 11 into 45 into 45 that means square of 45 it is 20 and 25 here divided by 4 which comes as this one here. 22,275 divided by 4 centimeter square is the area between two consecutive ribs. Easy. You can keep your answer as it is. 